right? Because the other thing I want to define is spiralling. Spiralling? Well, because I've had a few of the kids now come through and they've yes. seen the videos, they all have had a different experience of when we say spiralling out. Yes, yes. So yes, I would yes. like to define that. Golden mean spiral. The golden mean spiral is the original and from the organic timeline. The Fibonacci is the Matrix's version. Mm, they're often confused. Totally. As being totally. Thing. So is the t see, I, you know, I ain't a youngster. I've been at this for a while. So I've seen the different teachings come and go on sacred geometry and who's doing what, and I've seen some of them say one thing, some of them say another, and it's really whoever's got the biggest dick, whoever gets the biggest following, and all of a sudden that becomes... The word. Mm -hmm. Go within. Let Moo show it to you. Breath take. Get your own experience. Exactly. So, mm. um, spiralling. <laughs> what the fuck was about yeah. to say? What am I saying? Right. <laughs> Surprise. So, golden mean spiral. Now, when we're in the soul star and we talked about the spirals erupting, it's almost like just from the beginning, all these golden mean spirals, look it up, you'll see what they look like, the Nautilus shell. It looks like a Fibonacci, right? Mm. So it's just fucking, you know, stay with the program. Anyway, so it's like all these spirals around the body and as they do it, it was activating the algorithms and logarithms of the golden mean spiral. Why is this so? Because it's infinite and organic. Since I've done that and I co op cleared the co-opt here of the pituitary. And when I say I clear it, I look at it every day. Right? Doesn't necessarily mean I have to do anything every day, but some days, you know, it's like, oh, hello. Because I'm not just clearing from this self. I'm clearing it from all dimensions of self that are stuck in this fucking mm -hmm. factory. Right? So anyway, spiralling. So when we see, sense and feel those geometries around us and we spiral that out, what that is is it's like there's a straight line of the cube. You see, sense and feel it turning into the golden mean spiral, dismantling the geometries, right? So there's another spiraling. The other one is when we spiral it out of the field. So that's taking like a pranic sheet, moving it through you, picking up all the debris, and it's like as it gets to here, we sort of spiral it like into a little Santa sack and send it outside of the field. Right, so that's spiralling it yeah. out. So when we're, um, I was going to say when we're spiralling up from Moo, that's pulling the energy up from Moo and feeling it enter you in a different way. We don't really do that till light code three. So it's kind mm -hmm. of like, don't worry. It's more if we talk in the video and we're saying these things, that's what we're giving you. So it's like you've got the spiralling that emanates from the essence, resetting the algorithms and logarithms. Mm -hmm into infinite, right? Yes. Like anti-aging. <laughs> You've mm -hmm. got spiralling the cube out or spiralling out the geometry where you're actually changing the straight lines into these infinite spirals and they dismantle. <laughs> and then you've got spiralling it out of the field where it's like with that big pranic sheet taking all the fuckery that you've now dismantled, all those codes, into a little fucking outside. Now, mm -hmm. I do say it in another video, and I get a little bit feisty, but I'll say it again. Anyone who tells you Mother Earth loves that energy, it's all energy to her, get fucked. How disrespectful. Put it in a shape, preferably stelated, and in that shape you can run it with this Ramu Tet. I say grid, but it's just it's too misleading. So I'll say, like, literally you can turn it into a macabre run on a Ramu Tet. Power source. How's that? Yeah. Yes. Powered okay. by yeah. Ra, Mu, and Tet. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one, one of those videos. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> hey. It'll be I a like best of. Mm. I like And then that you a can lot. deal with that fuckery. So the idea of that is the Ra is returning it all to its original codes. Mu, well, hello, don't even speak. And then it's like either the AI, inorganic, whatever, is simply dissolved because it's sent back to organic, its original codes, or into fuckery oblivion, and the organic's returned to you, whatever, right? It's 
a win-win in my situation and it's like cleaning up the energy. It's not sending it back to Moo. I mean, who the fuck made that up? Mother Earth likes all your shit. No wonder maybe it's got the burnt chops syndrome. syndrome. Yeah. Well, but is it with the whole, can be married with the whole Gaia concept? You said it was yeah, very right. masonry. Oh, those fucking cunts. I mean, love and light. But they, did it really come from them? Because I didn't know that. Robert Morningstar did some excellent research on, um, check, what's his work? Oh, well, Morningstar.com, I suppose. RobertMorningstar.com. I don't know what his website's called now. Mm. Um, but he did some excellent work on symbolism of Gaia and the Masons called it G. That's why they got that G in it. They called it Gaia. It's a oh, Roman right. name. That's right. Oh, is that when they turned the... Um, yes. The, 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 the vessel. Vaginal, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember reading that a while ago with you. Like, yeah, yeah. Ages ago. Okay, cool. That, that, that's reference. Okay, cool. So maybe that whole thing came with that concept. Could be. I don't know. Maybe. Don't. Maybe some other new age fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, what isn't? Like, seriously. I mean, mm. what isn't? But, yeah, so the waking up, it's happening. It's all groovy. It's all good. But it's just wake up with discernment, people. Mm.